Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I will be making an off the shoulder dress with an elasticated neckline. Hi, my name is Ayo and I'm reaching you from Lagos, Nigeria. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. I will be working with the following items. Taylor's chalk, African print fabric, a pair of scissors, cups and ruler, pins, tape measure. So I have about three yards of this African print fabric. I will use this half a yard for the sleeves and the remaining two and a half yards will be used for the main dress. To determine the amount of fabric needed for the main dress, simply multiply your hip circumference by 1.5 or by 2. Preferably, you should find the largest circumference between your waist, your hips and your bust. Whichever is the largest, this is what you should multiply by 1.5 or by 2, depending on the amount of fullness you want for the dress. So now I have folded the fabric into four. I have also drawn this horizontal line. The horizontal line is five inches away from the top edge of the fabric and the line is my starting line. I will now go ahead and measure 8 inches for my armhole line from the starting point. To get your accurate armhole, divide your bust circumference by 4 or you can use the formula bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches but I prefer to use my bust divided by 4 because it gives me a larger or bigger armhole. Remember that we are making a free or maxi dress. So I will square out the line like this. I will now go ahead and measure 4 inches from the certain line. This is the off shoulder line. You can make your own five inches or even six inches below the starting line. It depends on how low you want. I will now square out the line like this. So this is the off shoulder line. I will now go ahead and draw another horizontal line above the off shoulder line. The line should be the width of the elastic you intend to use plus some extra allowance. I used 1.5 inches because I will be using a 1 inch wide elastic. So I will square out the line like this. This line will be for the elastic casing. I will now measure one inch above the elastic casing line. You can make yours up to three inches. This will serve as a decorative ruffle at the top of the dress. I'm only using one inch for mine. I will also square the line across like this. I will now measure the distance between the off shoulder line and the ruffle line. It is two and a half inches. Line is the ruffle line. 
I will now measure two annealed inches plus half an inch seam allowance from the ruffle line upwards like this. I will square across the line. The line is for the facing at the neckline. So the distance between these two lines, this line and this line, the distance between the two is for the facing at the neckline. I will now trim off this excess fabric. I will now fold the facing along the ruffle line like this. So this line is the arm hole or chest line. At the end, I will go in by 2 inches like this. And I will connect it to the end of the dress. This will give me a slight A-line effect. So this line is the off shoulder line. I will go in by 4 inches on the off shoulder line at this end. I will now measure what I have and I will, and I will transfer it to, the, to this upper line like this. And I will also mark the, the points on the line. I will now connect the two points together with a ruler. And I'll use my finger to curve the lower part like this. I will also curve the aim at the side by three inches. This is optional and you can skip this if you don't want. I will now go ahead and cut out the dress. This line is the elastic casing line and this is the off shoulder line. I will now notch the dress on the ruffle line. So that I will know, I will easily know where the facing starts from. So these are the two pieces for the front and the back of the dress. To cut the sleeves, I have here about half a yard of fabric, which I will fold into four like this. To know the width of the fold, I will measure the armhole length. I will measure the armhole length like this, plus additional three inches. To know the length of the fabric needed, measure from the upper edge or the top of the dress down to the armhole. Whatever value I get, I will measure and mark it on, on my fabric like this.
I will square out the line. I will also measure how long I want the sleeve to be below the armhole. I want it to be 3 inches plus 1 inch for same allowance making it 4 inches. So I measure and mark 4 inches like this and I will square out the line. I will now go ahead and trim off the excess fabric. To cut the sleeve, the first thing I will do is to fold the fabric meant for the sleeve, I will fold it into four. So I will fold the fabric this fabric, the half a yard, I will fold it into four, like this. Then I will place it underneath the dress, like this. I will align the armhole of the dress to the edge of the fabric meant for the sleeve. I will align the two pieces like this. I will now trace out the, the armhole curve of the dress. At the end of the sleeve, I will go in by one and a half inches. And I will join it to the armhole. Like this. I will now cut out the sleeve. So it is now time to join the dress pieces together. With the right size of the front and the back pieces, with the right size together, with the right size facing each other, right sides to right sides, I will go ahead and join the sides together using one inch seam allowance. Well first, I will paint the two pieces together using my pins. After painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch in place using one inch seam allowance. So now that has been done, I've joined the two sides together. So now I move over to the sleeve. For the sleeve, the first thing I will do is to aim the sleeve. After I mean, I will fold into two like this. I will fold the sleeve into two like this, right sides together. And I will join the sides using one inch seam allowance. I will do the same thing for this other sleeve piece too. So now I've done that. It's now time to attach the sleeve to the main dress. I will paint the sleeves in place like this with the right size of the sleeve and the dress with the, with the right size together. I will paint the two pieces in place, right side to right side.
After pinning them in place, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for this side too. So now I've attached the sleeves to the dress, as you can see. I have also folded and pressed in place the facing of the dress. I will now go ahead and mark one inch for the ruffle at the top of the dress. So now I will measure and mark one inch for the ruffle, for the frill or ruffle at the top of the dress. I will also mark one and a half inches for the elastic casing. The elastic casing line is below the ruffle line. So I'll stitch on this line first, all around. Then I'll fold in the half inch seam allowance, like this. I also stitch it in place. I'll go ahead and do that now. So now that has been done. So I left an opening here where I'll be inserting the elastic using my safety pin. Do now is to insert the elastic into the elastic casing using a safety pin. So now that has been done. I've also stitched the elastic. I've stitched, I've closed the elastic at this end. I also closed the opening on my sewing machine. I'll close this opening on my sewing machine. The measurement around the upper part of this dress is 34 inches. But my actual around shoulder measurement is 42 inches. So I made the upper part of the dress 8 inches smaller than my actual around shoulder measurement because of the elastic that was inserted. So that's it guys. We are done. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you for watching.